A new push for a return to civil rule in Burkina Faso as West African leaders arrive for talks on the handover of power. The presidents of Nigeria, Senegal and Ghana met with the transitional leader. And as CCTV's Kofa Mernje reports, many are optimistic the military will hand over power. Six days on from the protests that toppled the president, the cleanup is still underway. Among the targets for last week's outpouring of popular anger, the headquarters of Blaise Compaore's party and the parliament that had been preparing a vote to give Compaore even more time in church. For years, the opposition has been divided, yet Compaore's plan for another term brought hundreds of thousands onto these streets. It is not that people did not like Blaise Compaore. People just did not want the move to change the constitution to allow him to run again for presidency. He worked well for this country, but 27 years were enough. For many, the victory was short-lived. The military took charge as soon as Compaore flew into exile. And the African Union has labeled it a coup and is demanding the army to hand over control of her sanctions. Many here in the capital, Ouagadougou, are optimistic that the army will hand over power to civilian rule. There is some divided opinion, though. Some say it's taking too long, while others say it gives the army enough time to choose someone who will be accepted by all. This army, uh, they know the country. If the former president, you know, left the country in peace, if I can say like what, we believe that the army also will do the same. In the meantime, the city is waiting to see who emerges as a new leader. Last week, the people here made it clear they are desperate for change. Kofam Renge, CCTV, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso.